friends welcome back to another ride along we haven't done this in quite some time i actually haven't even connected my um my car mount so i'm holding you guys by hand while i drive out of the neighborhood but we are going to do a self-care day we're going to hang out today just something a little different from the norm um decor just kind of take you guys along with me on a day or a few days of um, in the life of getting ready for some upcoming events and project at the house and then decided to take you guys along we're going to go pick up some material to do some of the house to home updates we're going to go get some um pampering done manicure pedicure i'm kind of torn on i don't know what to do about the brows i got them um what did i get for my birthday last year i got the micro shading and uh, with the ombre brows and i love them and i was supposed to go back and get them touched up like i it's the day suggest you come back and get them touched up in what six weeks or whatever i never did that and i mean you can go back and get them touched up at any time but i'm really loving the way they look and i just figured i'll just wait till next year and get them touched up for the big five oh but in the meantime my natural hair that grows hold on guys. okay so the natural hair that grows above and beneath the um ombre brow or the permanent brow I need to get that cleaned up and I've been doing it with like the little razor deal myself but I don't like the way it, it kind of it doesn't bump up the skin but it irritates it so I'm kind of torn on whether or not to do the wax or just go back to the old school threading because that was like the most um comfortable way for me although it wasn't comfortable to get it done it's quite painful to be honest but it lasted the longest and I didn't have any breakouts from it I'm allergic to wax um and it just breaks me out which that would be a quick easy thing but the razor kind of irritates the skin so just thinking of while i'm in here getting my nails done i'm gonna ponder on what to do as far as the brow updates and what else we need to do today i may or may not do a massage i hadn't really been feeling like i needed a massage most time i do massage as massages as needed in terms of like scheduling like i know some people do them monthly some people do them you know special occasions or what have you but i do them as i feel i need them like when i get a lot of tension in my shoulders or after i've done a lot of extensive um you know projects or what have you i'll get them done so i may be needing one after i get through with all of these diys around the house but as of right now i don't feel like i need them I'm, it's on the fence my husband told me just to go out and just do all of the things because i was feeling some kind of way you guys and I'm, I'm gonna have a transparent conversation with you guys but i'm pulling up to the nail salon and then after i come out of there we will have that conversation so hold it on please So I had to make a pit stop back at the house. Nails are done. Yeah, we got to talking in there. And what I love about my new technician. Did I? Oh, let me stop. Hold on. Pay attention to what I'm doing, Trevina. Okay. So what I love, now that I can go. What I love about my new nail um, tech is that we have real conversations and it's so ironic we have so much in common we were born in the same year we are the same sign and so we have that same knack for knowledge and just just inquisitive about things he's a fellow gemini he's a june gemini i'm a may gemini his name is tuan he is a um korean christian named tuan <laughs> well, that's all i said your your um, name is i just as ironic as mine is so we have a really, we have developed a really, you know, good client um, technician relationship, and I love it. So we were talking, having good conversations, talking about the, the, you know, things going on in the world, just, just stuff, just stuff, right? And so he and I are real big. Um, I won't say conspiracy theories, but um, spiritual theories, theories, if you, if that makes sense. So we both delve a lot into um, spirituality and just things of the Bible, just kind of delving into the unspoken things or the untaught things of the scripture. And so we have some really good conversations. So I'm saying all that to say, we got so deep in the conversation, honey, that I didn't do hardly any recording. I think I got just a little B-roll of me finishing out when I realized, oh, you didn't record none of the, um, the segment of you getting your nails done. But yeah, we had a good, um, as we always do, good conversation. And I literally 
found him on a, I can do it, um, that's my neighbor. Found him on um, just a last minute, I need my nails done type of thing. And he is typically um, by appointment only. So we even say our whole relationship was divine. So I had an event, we was doing, we was hosting something at my house and one of my nails had broken. This is back in December, like cause it was holiday season. And I needed my nails done, but the place I used to go took forever. I love them. I love supporting small um, businesses as I am a small business. So I love supporting them, but it just would take forever. And they didn't ever do appointments. It was just a whole to do with the nails. But so I was like, Lord, I got to find somewhere to go. My, my daughter kept telling me, Mama, just go somewhere else. But I'm so committed to the cause. Like once I connect to you as for whatever you do, my brows, my nails, my whatever the case may be. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to stick beside you. That's just how I am, right? So I didn't want to, I didn't want to leave my nail techs because I had been going to them for a while and just loved the, you know, the, the intimacy of it all. But I had to, that day I was in the crunch. I said, okay, I got to go somewhere. So I stopped by the salon and mind you, several of my clients get service at the salon, but by the wife. And so I heard about her. I didn't, had even booked with her before. And at the time she couldn't get me at the time that I needed to be I needed them done so I didn't even go to um, to Heather the wife but I ended up this particular day walking in listen do you have any availability he was it just so happened my last appointment something came up she can't make it I can get you now so that's kind of how it started and then from there I just booked every appointment we, we've just been booking appointments and I love it and the more we you can communicate when he was like yeah we, we could be friends you know that type of thing and so we just connect on so many different levels, but I love, I love, love, love going in there. So, anywho, y'all, whatever clip I showed y'all from the nails, that's all I got. So, so that's why you didn't get much B-roll from the nails. As you can obviously see, the girl Fresh Do, honey, new do who this. Y'all know I'm a sucker for some big curly hair. And I'm actually recording uh, the whole process. I, um, I don't know why I'm just telling y'all all this, but this is a vlog, right? So... And it's a, it's a self-care blog. And so this is part of the self-care. After my mom's passing, which will lead into the, the conversation I told y'all I was going to have with you guys, I suffered um, some extreme hair loss, but just in a certain area of my head, not my entire head. So it was just along the front of my hair. Like I was wearing a protective style when she passed. And so once I took that protective style out and to go into another protective style, my hair literally was just crumbling in my hand and I know that it was due from stress or whatever because my hair has only done that three, two other times in my life three total with, with that time but two other times that it happened I was in going through a traumatic stressful situation one was I um, suffered a very very um, hard miscarriage where I hemorrhaged um, tremendously had to get blood transfusions and my emergency hysterectomy and all of that so my hair came out um, from during that time and then when I was going through a nasty divorce so that was a very stressful time so when I'm under extreme stress like that that was the only times my hair has ever come out and so being a hairstylist I always know what to do to restore it but this time around I get to restore it with my own product line so I'm recording that process just taking you guys on the journey so once I get it all completed and show you like I'm gonna do it from I think I may do six months progress from it when it broke off initially i think i did i cap, cap i think i captured it midway because once i got the products so i had to start in november that's when i got the products officially developed or what have you and um i started recording the process then so i'll take you guys along on that journey that's a whole nother video but just so i i'm at the point of now just protective styles only. I could like pull my hair, like it's not bald or anything. So I could pull my hair up in like a bun or something like that, but it's just because it's still very weak in the front area, I'm just kind of nurturing it a little more than normal. Like I would typically leave my protective styles in for eight to 12 weeks, just being honest, because being a hairstylist, I'm always doing somebody else's hair. So I ain't really have time to be doing my hair like that. But now I'm gonna, I'm being intentional about me, being intentional about, you know, things that I need to do for myself and stop looking at it as a task. I honestly, used to despise wanting to get my nails and feet done because I looked at it as, you know, I just got to look presentable for, you know, work or whatever. But now I'm being intentional about caring for me. So the hair, um, the hair journey, the skin journey, the, the, the uh, weight loss journey, all of that. Take y'all along. Y'all see y'all along for the ride. Y'all are part of the royal family. So we're going we gonna to be down for all the causes. Okay. 
So <laughs> with that being said, I started um, as part of my health journey, premenopausal, I'm starting um, Pilates. And so I'm doing the challenge. My girlfriend and I are doing a, a 28 day challenge and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna continue it on, on some degree because I really enjoyed it. Although it kicked my butt day one, I'm, this is just day two. So I'm, I'm very, very <laughs> new to this. But the beginning of the year, that was something that I wanted to get into when I was doing my Daniel fast and consecrating. That was one of the things that kind of fell in my spirit about things to do to better me, to be the best version of myself. So um, that was one of them was the was doing the Pilates and so we're gonna we're joining the gym but I'm not a gym girl which is why I thought of the Pilates even before COVID even before any of that I have always been somewhat of a germaphobe and anywhere there is going to be a lot of hands touching something or a lot of people in a close proximity I'm not a fan of like even when I did hair shows, I was okay with that because my stuff was contained and I and my assistant was using the stuff. But like with people, you know, it just, I just would have an issue with it. So I had to kind of train my mind during hair shows to be okay with, you know, people coming up to your booth or people coming up to you or whatever, you know, but like as it relates to touching equipment, like touching stuff behind a lot of people, I have always been freaked out about that, like gas pumps. Fun fact, I hate pumping gas for that very reason, and I have been this way my entire life. So it's not just, like I said, due to COVID. Been this way forever. So I don't like touching stuff that a lot of people touch them. Buffets, that type of thing. I'm just, now that I think I'm above it, I just, it's the germaphobe in me. I just, it just makes me feel some kind of way. So my, lo my love loves going to the gym. He is very much a gym rat, but I am not. But I'm going to commit to going maybe if I do the, stair, um, the treadmill or something like that. And I think they have a Pilates class as part of the whole membership, which is my incentive for joining the gym with him. But I'm starting it off at home just to kind of get myself acclimated and, you know, kind of get a feel for it or whatever. So that is what I'm doing as far as health wise and just kind of cutting back on sugars and things like that. Just trying to, again, become the best version of me. So I mentioned to you guys also... Um, about being transparent and so part of this being intentional about me was stemmed from the passing of my mom and I hadn't really talked about it in depth you know much at all mainly because once I kind of sat down and, and, and sat with my own thoughts and feelings I just couldn't bring myself to you know I've had to mention that she passed but to go into the details of it just made it that much more real for me and when she initially passed back in February, last February, I'm the oldest. So a lot of the details of everything was, you know, I, I, I handled it. You know, my daughter and I, oh, we had no other siblings or what have you that helped. But the majority of the decisions and all of that was on me. And then being the older sibling, making sure everybody else was okay. You know, that type of thing. So I kind of went into a fight or flight mode, like survival mode. So mourning wasn't on the forefront of course i had my moments of being upset and just feeling the ways but really just sitting in it i really just started to be honest with you and i didn't even know that that was such a thing but i thank god for my girlfriends um beautiful beautiful women kashanta shakita barika chandra these women have really just been amazing in my life and all of them have suffered a loss well most of them have suffered a loss you know closely to them so they could they could help guide me through the process of grieving like this like I lost my father you know a couple of years ago a couple of years before my mom and that was hard but we had somewhat of time to prep even though it was very quick and it was very sudden it was during COVID and we got a diagnosis in in two weeks and two days my father was was gone he did transition so, but even in that, we had those two weeks to kind of prepare our minds and, I, you know, have, again, having to be strong for my mom and my siblings. And so, and because I still had a parent still here that I, I don't think it affected me as bad, although I miss my dad tremendously, it just didn't affect me to the degree that my mom's did because with my mother, there was no warning. There was, I literally talked to my mom that afternoon and it was, okay, I'm going to go cook me something to eat and I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. You know, I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Or I may call you back. You know, we would do that. Like sometimes we would talk that evening and we may talk again that night if something just popped up on either one of our minds or we would just talk the next day. And the next call I get 
was them telling me that my mother, you know, was gone. Well, no, the first call was that she um, that she was found unresponsive in her in her house, and so then, you know, then to get the call a few minutes later that they had worked on her and there was nothing they could do, and we found out my mother had a massive heart attack, and so later finding out that she knew of some of the things that she was going through and because she's trying to do what I was doing be strong for everybody and you know and just hold on to help out everybody else she delayed her her help you know not that she was being malicious or careless I think she just has such a heart or she she has such a heart for her family that she she would go the distance for us and so I realized in that regard, I'm a lot, I like like her in so many ways, but I'm definitely like her in that way. But it was an eye opener for me to, you know, to take care of me and put me first because if I'm not at my best self, I can't be here for anybody. So that kind of is what struck take care of you. And then we had several other family members, mainly her siblings, pass away. And then one haven't passed away, but dealt with the same heart condition. So we know that that is something that, you know, could very possibly be hereditary, you know, to for it to be eight siblings and four of the siblings have the same heart condition is not ironic, you know. So those type of things is what really made me just re reassess how I do life, if that makes sense. And made me say you have to be intentional about you don't put yourself on the back burner don't put off whatever you know take care of you so that you can be here to take care of someone else or take take care of your loved ones or to experience the joys of your loved ones and so that is kind of what like again what sparked it and even now it just seems so odd to to let those words come out of my mouth i haven't really just talked like i said i hadn't talked about it in depth to to you all for sure like of course my immediate family we all knew and we discussed it but just to talk about it in a public you know platform it is it's, it's difficult and um like i said just in recent months i began to mourn like like more and more and not realizing the the heaviness that comes with that you know mentally physically spiritually and like I said, having my girlfriends there to kind of talk to me and let me know that's very normal. That's part of the grieving. There is no timeline on grieving. There's no way to grieve. It just hits you when it hits you. And instead of doing what I was doing, which is working through and staying busy, not focusing on it, that I actually needed to sit in it. I needed to sit in those feelings. I need to sit in those emotions and just deal with it. Whether it was a question I had for God, whether it was an emotion that I was feeling in that moment, sit in whatever it was. And so it was, it has been difficult. You know, February was a very difficult month because that was the month that she transitioned. And then going into March was the month that we, you know, um, laid her to rest. So it was, it's been a tough few weeks, but I said I was going to be transparent and I was going to um, share with you all, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Everything is, is royal, but it ain't, you don't feel royal all the time. And so as of late, I've been really mourning she and my dad, mourning both of them and just, you know, feeling the heaviness of that. But I know that God is a, um, a healer. He's a restorer. He can give me peace that passes understanding. I know that he will, you know, give me comfort in those heart, which he has done that. Like I said, there's been some really rough nights, some really some sleepless nights, some um, morning nights, some, some crying nights, you know, just difficult times. And I thank God for my husband, my love, just being there, my daughter. Just again, that's a wonderful support system. And I couldn't ask for a better circle in my life. And so that's kind of where I am with that. But, you know, to take it, to get off of that, because I spent about, well, I guess about 15 minutes talking about that. We're going to continue on with the self-care. But that is one of these days I'm just trying to pick myself up out the slump and just get out and do something to enjoy life, you know. My mother would not want me to just be sitting around moping and mourning and and sitting in the dark, you know, just in pajamas looking a hot mess. That ain't, that ain't what Queen Us was about, baby. She was very much so fabulous. So I was like, get up, get yourself together. So then hence the girl, the hair is done, the nails are done. I'm going to go now to get these brows done. And I'm going to take you guys to um, a store. And I'm going to share with you another little fun fact about your girl. So let's get to it.
takers and givers. I've been caught the ladder, but am I really a giver? If I don't give to myself, don't take care of my health, care for everyone else. I usually give away my best, but get into this reset. Get into this reset. Get into this reset. Take a skill for something called the Get into this reset. Yeah. I'ma adjust my clock like day. Like savings next era. I'm locked and I ain't playing about me. You think I'm acting brand new? But this was me before you. Ain't nothing to start over. Hold me on a new vibe. Bitch, you blowing my high. Gotta recalibrate my sundial. Yeah. Reset. Ain't nothing to start over. Hold me on a new vibe. Bitch, you blowing my high. Gotta recalibrate my sundial. Yeah. Yeah. Reset. Recent past is feeling like a past life. Can't believe I saved your heart to break mine. You could see I shifted shape to fit yours. Can't forget I made the move to move on. PCH to the Potomac River. Take a break, recalibrate, forgive her. Trip the road from Stockton to Stockholm. Yeah. Peace and grace to travel safe through time zones. Just my clock, like day, like savings, next era unlocked. And I ain't playing about me. You think I'm acting brand new? But this was me before you. Ain't nothing to start over. Hold me on a new vibe. Bitch, you blowing my high. Gotta recalibrate my sundown. Reset. Usually, I don't post. Usually, I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling, a GDM in, yeah. Didn't want to share my love till I found someone. So we are back in the car and honey the highlight of the trip aside from the brows you can see honey she did her she did her good thread when she did the massage on the brows because what i didn't do i knew that i was going to get my brows threaded or get something done to them um i wasn't showing the thread until i got to the nail shop i was like just get them threaded that lasts longer and it's safer on your skin so i didn't put any of my moisturizer i just cleansed my face and did my toner but I didn't do any moisturizer or anything like that because I knew I was coming to get something done to them and so she you know it was extremely dry after she got done so she did a little massaging with some oil and temple massaging it felt amazing so I love it when they do that go that extra mile but y'all I am if, you, if I think I may I probably mentioned it in that segment that I shared such a huge um, Bridgerton really queen charlotte fan and my daughter was trying to get me into bridgerton some time ago my oldest baby um well i guess when it first started but i just was like had so much going on i was like i don't have time to sit there and get caught up you know that's where i was in that in that moment but something happened and we and i had some downtime and i know what it was the meg and harry story came out so it was my like mother's day weekend she had came down to visit so we was either going to get into Queen Charlotte or 
watched the Meg and Harry story. Well, we ended up watching the Meg and Harry story, but then that kind of sparked an interest in the Royals for me. So I watched. She told me to watch Bridgerton first and then watch Queen Charlotte because there was a spinoff. But me being me, I wanted to see the sister first. So I watched Queen Charlotte first and got in immediately hooked. It was an immediately yes, okay? I loved it. I loved it, loved it, loved it. And wanted more of Queen Charlotte. So that's what sparked the interest then to Bridgerton. And which, of course, I love Bridgerton. And then, of course, they then went on. The, I guess they had a, there was part of the writer's strike or whatever. So it took, so I'm going to go to this store. So it took them a minute to get the show back on, but it's supposed to be coming back in May. And when she told me that they had the whole Bridgerton collection at Bath and Body Works, she surprised me with the candle, which I'll share that with you guys. And then I um, went there to see what else they were going to be releasing as part of that um, collection. And I thought it was just the bumblebee, the black and gold, that like the candle that she got me. To my surprise, as you see, when we got there, there was a whole collection of it. And I am just... Overtru I love it, but I was so overwhelmed with all of the all the possibility because I had my mindset on getting just the collection of the one thing of the the black and gold, the queen bee. Of course, you know that's sentimental to me for Mama, and my daughter does queen bee kitchen, so that's kind of how our connection was with that. And I get there, honey, they got it all, and so I am now wanting to get everything. So when I'm like that, if I can't decide on one thing, I don't, I'm just gonna pause and kind of contemplate on what I'm gonna get. But I know that I'm gonna add more of the original the black and gold selection i'm gonna collection i'm gonna add more pieces of that i love that bumblebee wallflower mind you i don't even use the oils like that well i used to i go back and forth with fragrances but home fragrances but i more or less like the wax and i was doing the oils the air with oils but i may have to switch over during the summer months or the months that i have the queen bee theme styled in the kitchen just so that I can utilize it. I just think it's adorable. So I'm definitely going to be getting that. Probably like the, the little um, hand sanitizer little deal that has like a ring on there. I'm probably going to get that. Because I had to leave, honey. I had to, I had to walk away and I went to get my, nail, get my brows done. And while I was in there waiting, I was kind of contemplating on what to get and what to do. But I, I do want to add something from each of the other collections just to have. But if I'm not going to utilize it, then what's the purpose? It's what kind of what I'm rationalizing myself. So we'll see. We'll see if I get. Like, I love the the one that was called the Studer, the study, the, the masculine one. I love the way that smelled. And it's in the blue, and I don't typically style anything in my home with that shade of blue anymore. So I don't know about that. But the, but the Queen Charlotte one, it's a must. I want everything. And then that was one that was in like a pretty. Um, pink and then there was one in a purple group. so there's five different um groupings and knowing me i'm gonna probably because honey let me tell you this she's not about that 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 my bath and body work candle light and to pay thirty dollars my spirit just didn't sit well so i didn't know so when they go into a little cute little sale or something i'll get all of the candles just to have but I, you know i used to style it anyway but i still want to get them and definitely gonna get the um, probably the hand soap and stuff to style in the kitchen for when I do the actual queen bee um, setup. But I absolutely loved it, and I'm headed home now. I was gonna go and do a solo um, dinner. Or it was two two o'clock here, so I was gonna go do me a late lunch, solo late lunch. But then I thought about my love was making um, chicken primavera today, so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go home and make me a cute little salad and wait for him to prepare that. So that's what I'll be doing. But I may or may not share with you guys in this video what I'm getting or what I got um, in addition to that. First, I want to do three, three. Now, I showed you guys some shoes. I am looking to change out my wardrobe somewhat now that I'm going to be back in the work, work mode. And even more so, like the event planning event studio type modes. So I kind of want to have my get my professional game up. I have a lot of lounge leisure clothing which I can wear that too but if you're the boss honey you need to present yourself as such. Okay? So I want to get some things that kind of play into that whole scope of things. But that's enough chatting y'all. I probably didn't chat at y'all to death so I'm going to make a quick stop and then head home and then we'll pick up and convene at the house. Okay. 
All right, guys. So, and part of being intentional about me and showing up for me is the fitness of it all. I talked to you about the 28-day Pilates challenge. So, this is day two. We are going to work out together and get our spirit, minds, and bodies in shape. Now, I will be quite honest and tell you that the struggle is real. I have not worked out in a very, very long time. And in this premenopausal state of life, I have to learn to just push through and do the best that I can do in the moment. And so in this video, you will see me pause even when they're continuing to go because you have to do what is best for you. But I am determined to be the best version of me so that I can show up for my family, for my husband, for my children, and for you all. And I wanna show up in a positive mind, spirit, soul, and body every time. So thank you all so much for joining me today in this ride along day in the life allow me to be transparent and sharing with you the cares of my life. I know that this video or this channel is typically a decor channel, but I am pivoting in other directions and sharing with you all the aspects of royalty designs. I am going to be sharing with you, of course, more fashion because your girl is all about the fashions of it all. I will be sharing with you days in the life. We will go out and about and do some styling. Of course, with my new business endeavor, I will take you guys along as we prepare for different events and just along that journey and the hair care world, I will be sharing some days in the salon life. I will be sharing some tutorials from the hair care company. I will give you every aspect of royalty designs. Which also brings me to the next point, guys. I want to encourage you to do the same. Show up for you in every way possible. Mind, body, spirit, soul. And that way you can be the best version of you for your family, friends, and loved ones. We only have this one temple and we are responsible for the health and well-being of said temple. So I encourage you to do something for you, whether it's walking, whether it's walking in place, whether it's doing crunches or sitting in a chair and just lifting some five pound weights. Show up for you. Treat this temple as if it is the only one you have because it is the only one you have. And I know some of us have been challenged with health issues. I hear from a lot of the queens and many of you are encouraged and inspired by the channel for various reasons, but you are very transparent with me and you share with me your life issues. And I want you all to know that every single viewer that clicks on this channel, I am praying for you. I am covering you. I'm asking God to open doors for you that no man can close and close doors for you that no man can open. I'm asking God to restore in you everything that has been stripped from you through the cares of this life. I'm asking God to bless you all tremendously in your wealth and your health and your overall well-being. I pray that you found this video to be inspiring and encouraging and just enter into another level of royalty designs. As I stated earlier, the channel is called Royalty Designs, but it ain't always royal, y'all. Some days we are going to cry. Some days we are going to be upset. Some days we are going to not want to push through and work out. <laughs> As in this very moment here, the girl was struggling but I knew that I had to push through for me because no one is going to show up for me like me. So again, thank you all so much for joining me on this little journey. And as we continue on, you pray for me as I pray for you.
Now, if it's your first time visiting, you see what you like and you like what you see and you were inspired by today's video or any videos that you have clicked on the channel for, I want to invite you to subscribe, join the royal family. Y'all, to my surprise, once I finished up the workout, my love had prepared an amazing dish and had my dinner all ready for me. This chicken primavera was delicious. The salad was top tier. We rounded out the night just having good conversation and enjoying each other's company. But I want to invite you all to connect with me on my other social media platforms. I can be found at Royalty Designs with Trevino on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Until the next video, stay safe, remain royal, and have yourselves a blessed and beautiful day. Bye.